What the fuck is up guys, my name of course is Vizro. You guys have been really, really, really requesting tutorials and uh, so I'm going to give it to you. Here we go, we're going to have this um, banner tutorial, and actually no, it's a style uh, that I've been making recently. Um, I'll probably put up a few examples on the screen or something, I don't know. Yeah, it's my abstract style. Um, a lot of people have been making this, so there's a lot of controversy. A lot of people have been making similar styles, or but just mainly because it's just brushes and stuff. But I'm going to show you exactly how to make it the way I do it. Um, some people do it a bit similar, some people do it different, you know, etc. So I'm going to show how I do it. So um, at the moment, I've got a header um, header size open, so it's like 1 500 by 500. And the rest is just basically, yeah. yeah. Make sure it's pixels as well. Don't put in like inches or something because it will just be retarded. Um, so you want to have your layers, obviously. Kill the background. First of all, I'll start by going to blending options and chucking in a gradient. But then obviously I'll drop it. And I have it about there. I don't know why. I just kind of like to have something that's not so plain. And uh, then I usually have like um, my text logo or something, which I don't actually have open. But I'll just quickly make like a logo really really quickly so I'm just gonna make a new layer obviously you want your logo to be on a new layer I'm just gonna make like yeah no, like like that my, my logo is gonna be two triangles I'm just gonna flick this one around um, yeah that's my logo okay this is my example logo obviously it's not a real logo um, but what I like to do is I like to make it the exact same color as the background easiest way to do this is just duplicate it um, clipping mask it and then just merge and obviously it's the exact same it's keep kept the gradient and everything so make sure you put it in the right position first so yep alrighty so I'm gonna quickly center this so you grab the bottom layer grab these rulers you just press um, control R to bring the rulers here um, okay now we've got the logo I'm just gonna name this logo so I don't lose it and I don't forget um, and I'm just going to center that. There we go. That's centered. Now, at the moment, we don't need this, so let's just hide that. We're going to make a new layer underneath the logo layer, and this is going to be the brushes. So I'm just going to name this brushes. And now I'm going to get uh, some brushes down here. I think these are already okay. First, we want to pick a color. I usually start with red, and you can always change it later. It doesn't matter. Um, but you want to make sure you have brushes first. Now, I have a lot of brushes, like a lot. So it depends on the theme you want to go with. Um, usually I have like the logo open and then I have like this underneath it which you can't really tell the logo but yeah something like that I'm gonna actually keep that for now I'm just gonna quickly put a um, actually I'm just gonna opposite the logo so I'm just gonna invert it um, with control I or command I um, so I can see what the logo is for now and I'm gonna continue with the brushes let's see it's really just whatever you want to do um, whatever brushes you want to use doesn't really matter but I just use like abstract brushes. You can use anything. It could be anything. So I'm going to use stuff like this. I like to have stuff coming from the top and the bottom. Um, just to add. So it's not all the same shit. All in like one thing. Now you can literally just add whatever you want. It doesn't matter what it is. There's no right and wrong. Uh, sorry. Wrong and right way to do it. Um, you can just add splashes. You could add you know just stuff I'm just adding random stuff now I'm not doing like a really good job um, it's not gonna make really much sense but there's some drips you know just add whatever you want uh, I'm just gonna add a few more things no not that I don't know what why it's in there but not that either um, no sometimes I split it up onto a different like layer so I'll make a new layer as well um, and then I'll show you what I do because like after you've got quite a few things we'd want to make like a new layer and not that um let's just grab a couple more things not like tribal stuff let's get more splashy kind of stuff no nope. things around all right i'm just gonna add i don't know some random stuff let me find some splashes where are they not that this is kind of like an annoying process to go through, finding like a ton of different brushes. But you can download obviously brush packs and stuff like that. You just look it up on the internet. Not that. Whoa. Yeah, you can just Google like brushes and stuff like that and get some. What is that? Nope. Um, I don't really know. I'm just going to make that. Okay, that, that's that's what we got right now. Um, 
Yeah, I can't really find anything. Okay, here's some splashes. I found them. All right, so I'm just going to make... Oh, I'll keep it on the same layer. Just drop it. The sides a little bit. Just add some splashes. Yeah, that's really rough. Obviously, that's clearly not going to stick with. But now we've got that. The reason we put that underneath, I'm just going to merge those into the brushes. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you why I made this on a separate layer. Because I changed the color a little bit. Mix it up. Not completely different, but say if it's like a blue, maybe make it a green, or if it's like a red, make it like an orange. Not not too different, but something like that. Alright, so now we want to go on top of the logo, and what we want to do is we want to invert it back so it's a normal color. So it looks kind of like it's cut out, but so we need to add some effects, because obviously it's not going to be perfectly cut out like that. Make a new layer, clipping mask it on top of the logo, and just add, you know, splashes on the edges of the logo. So it kind of looks like, you know, it's splashing over top of the logo as well. If you've got little drips of like uh, like what I've got here, little drips coming on top of the logo like that, don't add too much, don't ever do it, but obviously add some of that in because it looks like it's splashing on top of it. So something like that, maybe not too much, maybe not, yeah, maybe not that much, maybe just like that. Um, obviously because it's just like a triangle logo, it's not going to look that great. But anyway, from now, actually I'm just going to raise this gradient a little higher because it's not that high. Yeah, about there. There's a big difference there. Alright, let's just duplicate this. Grab all the layers, duplicate it, duplicate it, sorry, and then merge them together with Command or Control E. I'm just going to say Control E because I'm using Windows at the moment. Now from here, what we want to do is we want to um, go filter. You want to get Topaz Labs. Yeah, Topaz Labs. Clean. You can just look that up, Google it. You can get a free download. Um, this is like a trial thing for 30 days, something like that. All right, so Cartoon Collection and then the Cartoon Detail, the first one. And just use the current like default that's there. So just hit OK. This kind of adds like that little, If I'll show you, I'll zoom in a bit further. It just stylizes it a bit, like that. Adds like a little paint kind of effect. Um, if it's a little bit too much, just drop the opacity obviously, because it's on top of the original layers. But I'm just going to grab all that again, duplicate it, and then merge it again with Control e Now I'm going to go Filter, Distort, and I'm going to go Ripple. Um, now don't do too much of this, don't keep it on 100, um, I usually have it on medium or large. Uh, I'm going to keep on medium for now, but you can see obviously how much it ripples it. Just make it default at zero, and then it goes minus, so it goes back this way or like forwards. Can't really tell that much, but I'm going to make it about the 93. That's a bit too much. That's a bit too much, but I'm going to keep it like that anyway. Um, now comes to the main part. Oh, by the way, I should mention it looks cool with text, like if you add uh, text here, not in edge though. Um, my red, something like that, and I usually have like one bold and one regular. I don't know, it looks cool. It's um, italic for some reason, just straighten it a little bit, and then put it like on an angle. And yeah, that'll do, that'll do for now. Um, yeah, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab them all, merge them again, and yep, like that. Now, what we're gonna do is oh, actually, we're up to the next part, we grab a new layer. We get a brush. You can do it like normal spray brushes, but I prefer to do it like like this big um, brush of zero hardness. And then we're just gonna like make a little dot there and put it on screen. And then we put it in different places. You know, add like a bit of red light to it. Um, then we're gonna make a new layer again, and we're just gonna drop that like that. Grab a good color though, so maybe like a orange, you know, or between orange and yellow, kind of like a gold looking color. And put that on screen. Oh, put that on screen. And you can see it kind of adds that nice little effect there. Don't add too much. I would add maybe a little bit in the middle. Alright. Uh, maybe a bit on the text. Okay, now we want to make a new layer again. And we, I usually make like around a blue-ish kind of color. So let's grab a blue. There's still more steps to add by the way. So don't just click off. Don't click off just yet. Alright, then we're going to make, oh, wait, yeah, I made a new layer, okay, screen as well, and it kind of adds, like, if it's on top of, like, red and orange, obviously it's going to make, like, a purpley pink kind of color, but that's cool, it looks nice, so that's that, um, we're almost done, we're going to merge all these again, and duplicate it, there's a lot of merging and duplicating it, just to add different effects, but if you want to take them off, like, you know, we can take this, that, that, you can take them all off separately, or just, like, drag them onto a new project or whatever, but anyway, double click on the little picture there and we're going to take off the green filter which will make it's like the RGB split thing and you can move this around I'll do that depending on the colors it'll look a bit different but uh, basically I'm just moving it with my arrow keys 
or you can just move it with your hand itself, but it does too much. Move your arrow keys. I usually do one to the right and one down, maybe two down sometimes, depending on how big the brushes are and whatnot. But yeah, that's the effect that adds. Um, if you wanted, don't. If you want to change the color, you go hue saturation, obviously. Um, don't do it while it's. Oh well, you, I guess you can do it while it's this, but I would recommend doing changing the color and then doing an RPG split after because sometimes it changes a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's how you just do that. Change it to whatever color you want. See, it has this like, weird 3D effect thing that we don't want. So if you want to make it like that color, like the blue green, merge it all with the hue saturation filter, duplicate it, and then oh sorry, and then do the um, RGB split because it just looks better. It does it a lot better. See, it doesn't have that weird 3D looking effect. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's my opinion. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna keep it like this because I just like purple and all that kind of shit. Purple, blue, pink looks great with this. Also, red and orange, I think, looks pretty cool, what I started with earlier. Yeah. So, um, that's basically the end of the tutorial, I suppose. If you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like and all that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done it already. I'm pretty sure you have, but... Thank you guys for watching. There's going to be a lot more tutorials and all that kind of stuff coming out very soon. This is a really basic tutorial. Obviously, it didn't turn out perfect as like my other ones. You can add like a shape like I've done before. I probably had it on the screen earlier. I might do another one here um, where I have like the AK for Versa and his text logo. Looks really cool with text logos inside things, not just plain logos, but you can do whatever you want. Thanks guys for watching. Catch you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Peace.